Gundam fans, welcome back to another two episodes of Turn A Gundam, where we've actually started our space adventure now. Oh, I hyped that up too much, but yeah, we finally got to the space adventure portion of the anime, because every Gundam series is required to have at least one moment in space. Like an actual moment where they actually have like a battle or something. And it's just like a requirement. It's not a Gundam series without that. You guys can prove me wrong, tell me wrong, it's not a Gundam series without at least one. It, whether it be a ten second fight or an hour long fight, I don't care. It has to have a space moment. So yeah, we've gone to space. Looks like Diana is still aboard the other ship. And Grell is still trying to present herself as Diana. Even though some people are starting to figure it out. So, uh, what is the fate of our heroes here, I guess? Yes, heroes? I don't know. The sides are so con 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 they're confusing. So, the only thing I do is continue watching it. So let's go ahead and get into this one right here. I guess that is true. They both deviated from whatever path they were destined to be. Now they're doing their own thing. They're all learning how to do the space thing together, except Lauren. Lauren kind of gets it. This series is having a nice, wholesome moment here, and it's going to be ruined, ain't it? <laughs> the Earth Folk. Not the only one, though. <laughs> They're all having a hell of a time. I think this is the first Gundam series where... The people have never really gone to, like, the Earth Folk have, well, the Earth Folk at this time period have not ever been in space, so they have no idea how to deal with it. They do have a point there, so when you're in space and you're up on the ceiling and they're on the floor, technically they're upside down, and but you're upside down to them. So they, they are not wrong. And I, Harry's also, like, part of their group now. Oh, they're all getting sick and stuff, because they're definitely not used to it. Yeah, Lauren's probably the only one that from the Earth folk that actually knows how to walk around on them. Well... He's technically Moon Race, but he's been on Earth for a while, but he's the only one that kind of knows how to deal with it. And then Frain. It's funny, though. They're just flo floating around. How's the water falling down? Is there, like, suction there for them to, like, the water not flow everywhere? But if this is... Yeah, she, she, she would have to be right. Something would be sucking it down. I'm curious now. How would they solve this issue? Just with vacuums on the floor? <coughs> oh, poor Lauren. Such an honest guy. <laughs> Well, Sachi's gonna be the piss off one. I think Kale's gonna be the chill one. They're all fucking wasted. <clears throat> oh my god, these guys are nuts. Yeah, they got fucking trashed. Oh my god, this is a bad, bad situation. Oh 
Oh my god, they're fucking ridiculous. This isn't gonna end well at all. No! Oh, he totally forgot to shut his glass thing. Because you forgot your goddamn face mask. Uh, he's, he's one of the few that thinks so. They have space suits, so this isn't going to work as well. What the hell's wrong with all them? Do they get like suffocated of oxygen? These Earth guys are fucking idiots. Yeah, they don't know how to actually do things in space, so that's that's what they're worried about. I love how all their priorities are like different. Harry's is like they're traitors. They they did this is better than the you know this is the same as hassle of execution. And then you got the guy with the Zaku the Zaku, and he's like, I just want my Zaku back. And then Lauren's trying to be a little bit of everything. Hey, they're doing better than I thought they would be. Oh, they're running out of oxygen. Oh, Harry's helping him out. Oh, even Harry got into the picture. Oh, that's going to be some foreshadowing right there. I have a feeling Dad's not going to make it back. Alright, let's get into the next episode here. Episode 37. Do it, do it, do it. Getting closer and closer to the end here. And it's it's actually a fun adventure now. Like before, it was a little confusing in every aspect of the word confusing. But now, a little bit better. Like I said, it's cleaning itself up a bit. That's how Zeta was as well, though. Zeta was also a very confusing mess. So, And I think Zeta's writer is the one that wrote this one, too, so... He's just a really confusing guy. If he doesn't know how to, like, start his stories, he... So, like, before we go here into this episode, he likes to start his stories, but he doesn't know where he wants to take them. And then, like, halfway through, he's like, oh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. Let's... Let, 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 that's the route I want to take. And then it starts getting good. Like, Zeta didn't get good till like, the end. So that's why Zeta, for me, is still not one of the best gun in which, again, you're going to have to wait for those tier lists. But it's, it just feels like that. The writer had an idea and just started writing and then got to a point where he's like, I don't know where I want to take this. And he took it on a roller coaster right everywhere until he figured out what path he wanted to, you know, shift the roller coaster into. Not a roller coaster, but like a train ride, you know, going in different tracks. Oh, bye, space hippie! Or is that not space hippie? That's, oh, that's Captain Poe, or whatever her name is. Or is it not Captain? Who is this one? Because I know we got one space hippie. 
But there's always another space hippie somewhere. It is space hippie, okay. Wow, are these two space hippies gonna be useful for once? This is just like a mess. They got a bunch of like babies on the plane or on the ship now. Because none of them can, can really walk. <laughs> and they're, most of them are just crying. So literally babies. Damn, she's, she's at least somewhat smartish about this. Did they manage to get Diana off of there? So are they, she, Diana gonna finally join up with the, the group there and then they're gonna go back and still make it to the moon? Oh, there she is. So she sent a code like a tr uh, that they had to uh, transcribe. Oh, they've already made it to mistletoe. Okay. I just realized that was some bad CGI. Fucking space hippies! Don't encourage them, Diana. Please don't. Please don't. God damn it, she's encouraging them. Oh. <laughs> damn, this dude's giving some... Hardcore villain. I don't know if he's final villain, but he's giving some villain vibes. <laughs> Damn, dude, I already figured it out. Alright, he's giving somewhat of a final boss vibe. Like, able to figure that shit out just by hearing it once. Oh, they're like little bees swarming around. What is she gonna find there? Cause I'm feeling she's gonna find something there. Oh. I think they're going to have their first actual big space battle soon. That CGI though. I got some followers. So what's your plan, Harry? <sighs> oh man, we got some new enemies. Let's go. Alright, Lauren, this is your first... Like, actual space fight.
Because, well, we can't really count the last one because they were just a bunch of idiot airplanes. I didn't know what to do, they were doing. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of those two episodes there. We're getting somewhere now. What is Harry's actual plan? Because he knocked her out. He could have just easily convinced her and she could have went with him. But yet he made a big old scene about it. I'm not too sure why or what's going on with that. Maybe it's because if he didn't, everybody would have protested him anyway. And so doing it this way kind of put them all in shock because it was just out of the nowhere. So maybe that's why he did that. I'm not 100% sure. But and that's it for these two episodes, I guess. Things are starting to go in a good direction now. It's interesting. Are we going to find anything more about on the asteroid, though? Because we're not going there just for a nice pickup spot. It looks like uh, Diana's looking for something else. Yeah. Anyway, though, if you're liking the video, please slash that subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate those that have. And again, I'll see you guys in the next.